Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Um, oh, there we go. I was waiting for this to adjust. Okay. Uh, I almost need a lighter background for you to actually see where I'm at right now. Mm, I don't know that I have something that's lighter, but anyhow, I am doing a lot better. Um, the swelling is going down, but it's still obviously still pushed out right here a little bit. That's why my shirt's all out to the sides. But eh, maybe I can pull this down. You can kind of see. Uh, no, it still doesn't work. Anyhow, um, I went to go see my doctor today, and she said that I looked uh, really good, actually, and um, she did the whole laser treatment on me like she did before, and it's supposed to, like, relax your muscles, and I actually felt a lot better today um, than I have in the long, well, in a while since I've had the surgery. It's probably the best I felt, and I'm sure every day is going to get you know, easier and easier, but, um, she gave me this strap. It's like a Velcro, like, uh, what is this? Elastic strap. And I will show you how she has me doing this. Um, right now, my boobs look still, like, high up on my chest because, um, not sure if you can really tell with my necklace in the way, but they're, they're still up here is where the line is but you can't actually tell from that from this angle but anyhow they're way up here still so they have yet to drop um, and there's only one way to get them to drop and that's to massage them where you push but it hurts but at the same time she wanted me you know what I gotta take this necklace off hold on um, she wanted me to start putting this velcro strap like way up high and I wrap it around as tight as I can handle and I sit with it on um at first it doesn't feel bad you're like oh yes no problem and then like a few minutes later you start feeling the pressure and it really hurts but she said just do it for as long as you can until you can't bear it anymore um, and it, I'm sorry, I'm totally slouching right now because whew, it's really painful. Anyways, um, I'm going to sit back. She said to wear it as long as I can until I can't take it anymore and then I can, you know, take it off or whatever. Um, and that's just to help get, ow, um, <laughs> it's very painful to help get the implants to fall into the pockets. One thing that I did not know, but um, I asked her about, I was talking to her about, um, oh, like, what exactly was done. You know, I, I, I knew beforehand what she was going to do, but at the same time, it, it was a little foggy. Like, she didn't really go into detail about what she was doing once she got in there and opened me up and shoved the implant in there. I know that some doctors cut the muscle, and apparently some doctors do not cut the muscle. Um, it just kind of depends on the person. So, I was asking her about that, and she actually said, oh, I gotta take this off for a second. I know this is, like, bad. I should keep it on, but it's not exactly comfortable. Um, oh, my back hurts. Anyways, so she said that um, what she did with me was she did not cut my muscle at all actually she said I had plenty of space under my um in my muscle like but un behind my muscle to fit the implant it was a tight squeeze but she said that it's better that way that way you don't get rippling at all anywhere really I mean you can still get rippling but the bag of the saline implants that I got was I think it was a 400 to a 500 and <clears throat> she could fill it um to like 450 or higher well i went to 480 on each so i'm like 20 cc's away from the full completely full amount and the fuller you make them the less chance you have of rippling because they're it's just like taking a water balloon and blowing it up and then filling it with water or just filling it with water in general eventually it's going to 
slightly evaporate. It's only 1% like per year is what they say, but still any type of little evaporation is going to leave you with some space in there and then eventually it's going to ripple and look like dented, like rip rippled. And that can be seen sometimes on the implants. But mine, I mean, I've literally been looking. I know I may not even be able to tell right now, but I've really been like trying to see. And it's weird. I can, it, what's weird is that I can actually fill them in there and they're squishy. They're not really that hard. I mean, at first, yeah, you could tell how hard they were because just from looking at that picture of me laying there with them like way up to my collarbones, well, they still kind of are, but they've dropped a little. But they were like way up here and they were hugely mounted up, you could tell. that At that point, they were super, super hard and I was starting to get a little worried. I was like, oh gosh, I really hope that's not how hard they are because it felt like, mm, trying to give you an idea as to how hard they felt. Like if you overfill a water balloon to the point where it's like literally about to bust and then you push on it, it's really not going to move much. And if it does, it's going to be something that's hard. But now they're a lot squishier and over here it was hard too. And that made me worried. But actually my surgeon said, she showed me pictures of a lady that had about this, she was about the same weight and the same height as me. Whoops. And she had had like, um, rough, sorry, I'm, just a piece of hair is driving me nuts. She r had roughly about the same amount of cc's of implant. Hers were a little bit bigger, but she had the high profile and they were saline. Um, and she, she had a lift as well, so it was very similar to my situation. She showed me the pictures. That was weird. My whole screen just flickered. Um, and she said that at this was her, she showed me a picture of this is her at like a month out and she was still swollen, but she was actually worse than me um, because I'm about what she was at a month out and I'm only, I'll be two weeks out on Thanksgiving. So this Thursday I'll be two weeks out. Um, so considering the fact that I cannot take any anti-inflammatories, um, I'd say I'm doing pretty good. Um, Pain is minimal now. Um, the only pain that I have is I tried carrying my purse on my shoulder, but dumb me, you know, I hang on, I have to sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. Um, dumb me, I had, I have a purse that I carry around and it's huge and I put, of course, everything in it, but I eliminated a bunch of stuff in order to relieve some of the stress on my shoulder because I already have pain up here from like my bones, from it pulling because my boobs are really heavy right now and I'm sure that that's going to be the case always. And I'm not used to having bony shoulders when I had big boobs, so I don't know. Um, but anyway, I was carrying my, my um, purse and the strap kind of hits me like right here. Well, what I didn't realize was that it was putting all this pressure right here and now I have like a ridiculous bruised feeling. It's not bruised on the outside, like you can't actually see it, but I have like a bruise like right here somewhere that if I barely even touch the skin, it feels like someone is sticking a thousand needles into my side of my, my boob. But this side here is just sore where the bra hits like right there, but it's not too bad. So what's funny is when I started this whole thing, my left boob was the most painful of the whole thing. Now my right one is the most painful. I don't know, but I figure they're going to take turns and eventually It'll all work itself out. The other concern I had was that straight after, oh, I don't want to show you guys too much, but straight after surgery, I had this wide space in between my boobs to where I really thought, am I not going to even have like cleavage? Like, am I just going to look like I'm like spread way out like this? Like that's how it looked. But now when I look down, I can actually see the crease is getting smaller and smaller. And she said that as they drop, it's going to make them look like it. you have cleavage so it's not going to look weird or anything it's going to look normal um I definitely am glad that I got the high profile because for my body shape had I have gone with I think it's called moderate round plus um I would have been more out this way like I am now <laughs> and clearly this way like I am now does not look normal 
on me. However, on people with broader shoulders that stick out farther or straighter figures, the round gives them more of a curved look and helps accentuate their like curves so that they look more hourglass figured. But I have big hips, so my um, high profile actually just is more about projection than it is about width. Um, so they sit higher up and they are going to have the little kaboom thingy. But that's what I wanted. I don't want to wear lingerie or a swimsuit without, you know, having some kind of curvature in there. I just like the look better, personally. Everybody has their own opinion, though, so do it as you may, however you wish. Um, all I can say is that do your research before you get the implants because I'm really, really glad that I did the research and I found a surgeon that does, like, exactly what I wanted um, <clears throat> because that's extremely important, clearly. Um, whoa, way too far down. Okay. Um, and I asked her today, I was like, so I went with 480 cc's. Well, I don't know what I would have been after the lift because there was so much skin that it was contributing to putting me in a D cup bra um, before surgery. But I was in no way a D cup at all if you just use my breast tissue that was left. So I asked her, you know, what would you have said that I probably would have been? And she surprised me. She actually said that with my breast tissue, even though I didn't have a lot of it, I probably still would have been a C after a lift and after removal of the extra skin, um, I probably would have still been a C. So that, because I went 480 cc's, she said the chances are I'm probably going to be a very full D or maybe even a small double D. But that's what I was going for. So. Um, can't really complain there. I'm, I'm glad. Um, I am really impressed with my surgeon. She, I mean, yes, I paid her a lot of money, so of course I made her, you know, richer in that aspect, but I could have made anybody richer that was going to do the, the breast implants and the, um, lift, but that doesn't mean they're going to have the same type of follow through afterwards. I've met plenty of surgeons including my gastric bypass surgeon, who once you're done, you're done. And they pretty much don't have much bed. They have, they do not have a good bedside manner to where if there's anything that you need post gastric bypass or post, you know, cosmetic surgery, most people aren't going to just go out of their way for you. They're going to ask you for more money. Um, or make it sound like they don't want to help you until you offer to do something extra. I don't know. But anyhow, I ended up um, going back to see her again today. I go every week. Um, today she let me borrow this. In fact, she's like on good terms. She's like, okay, well, just go ahead and take this home. And then uh, when you're done with it in like a couple weeks and your, your implants actually drop into the pockets, just wash it and return it back. And I was like, oh, that's nice. You know, she trusts me to bring it back to her and, and she should because I will obviously but um anyways I probably should upload this video before it cuts me off that's about it for now um I hope you guys have a fantastic Thanksgiving if I don't talk to you before then which I'm not sure that I will or not so I hope everybody is doing well and if you have any questions or anything I do read all your comments I just don't always have time to get get on my YouTube app because it's kind of annoying and it's uh it's annoying and it's an annoying app um, that has a lot of glitches in it so a lot of times I can't get my comments to post or I type out the whole thing and then it cuts it completely off and says sorry I can't post it after I've completely written a whole like paragraph or two so anyways I just want you guys to know I'm getting your comments and I appreciate you guys um, leaving comments for me and saying nice things and um, keeping me in your prayers and looking out for me and all your questions and if you have any questions that I haven't answered, please, please, please send me a message or comment and I will do my best to answer them. In fact, I need to start writing the questions down and then answering them on here. So that's it for now.
Bye, guys.